Welcome to Sign Presenter. So you just created an account and you're on a screen like this and you want to know how to get started. That's what this video will guide you through. So let's start by going up here to Messages on the top left. A message is any type of content you want to display on your screen and this Messages tab is your library of all the messages you have created so far. When you first create your account, there's one created for you by default called Weather. Just click on that. And if you don't want this weather uh, message, you can simply click delete and it'll be gone from your account. Otherwise, if you want to keep it, uh, you can customize it. So what you'll want to do is come in here where it has zip code and type in your zip code and give it a name right here. So this is Tulsa. And you'll notice as I did this, this preview window over here on the right has automatically updated uh, to show both the city name and the current weather conditions. So I'll just click Save on that, and any time this message displays on your screen going forward, it will automatically be updated with the current weather. So having done so, that's in the Messages library here on the left. And you click here, you can see the thumbnails update to show Tulsa area weather. But say you want to create your own new message, you'll just come up here and click the New button. From here, you'll be presented with a somewhat overwhelming list of content types uh, you can choose from. And these are accordions that you can expand out to see more. I will go over these content types in a future video. But for now, let's say you have an image already created and you just want to put that image on your screen. You're going to select the simple image content type here. And once you're there, you'll see you have a few fields here on the left. And then on the right, you have a preview of what your message looks like. We'll want to fill out this content here. So we've already selected the template type of simple image. The duration is just how long you want that to display on your screen before it moves on to the next message. A category you can think of kind of like a folder. Uh, this is just to organize your messages. Once you get maybe 20 or 30 or 50 messages in there, it can be quite a bit. So this just uh, collapses them into folders and then give it a name. So I'll say first message. And then the important part is this image field right here. You'll click on this and you'll notice here on the right this preview has dropped down below and there's a new uh, box up here for image editor. What you want to do is click this upload image button and select your image. Now if the image is already the appropriate size for the screen you're good. Just click update and it will update over here. Um, otherwise, you can crop it to say, I want to show this portion of the image on my screen. So however big or small you'd like that to be. So say you want it to look like that. I'll click Update. That is updated over here. And then I click Save. And having done so, uh, this message is now also in the library under the Information category with the weather message. You'll notice a warning up here though saying this message has not been added to any playlist yet. Just because you create a message and put it in your library doesn't mean it will appear on the screen yet. You have to uh, tell it which messages you want to show on the screen and when. But if you look over here at messages, you can see there's now two under information. There's the weather and first message we just created. So let's go add it to a playlist. To do that, we go over here to playlist. And again, by default, we've created one for you called Custom Playlist that has that weather uh, message in it already. Over here on the right, you'll see the available messages you can add to this playlist. And we just have one, the first message we just created. So I will click on that and it will pop over from the right over here to the left. So it's now in this playlist. If you want to get rid of one, no problem. Just click it on the left and it will go over here to the right. But I'll leave them both in there for now and click Save. So now we have a playlist with two messages in it. You can create as many playlists as you want to. So for example, you may have a playlist that you want to show Monday through Friday and a different one you want to show on the weekends. Uh, to do that, you'll just click this new button and select custom list right here. And you can just type in weekend playlist and save it. And uh, you can add your messages to that one. But you'll notice if you come back here where we just were and I click new, uh, in addition to custom lists, there's a few uh, feeds down here that you can select from. 
Uh, what these are, a feed is a list of pre-created messages. So a very common thing a lot of people want to do is promote their social media page. And we've already created dozens of messages for you uh, that will do that. All you have to do is plug in the address of your social media pages. So let's say we want to create a new playlist from this social media promotion feed. Just click on it and it'll ask you to name it. That default name is fine. And let's say we have a Facebook account, we have a Twitter account, but we don't have Instagram. So that's no problem, just uncheck that. We will type in our Facebook uh, profile name and our Twitter profile name and click Save. That's it, just by doing that, we now have a playlist with dozens of messages in it, all promoting those two social media pages. So the last step we've got to do is come over here to Screens, and you can see uh, we've already added a screen for you by default. Uh, this is a screen is a TV, more or less. This configures what shows on a TV screen. Uh, just click on it. Uh, you can see by default there's a schedule here, the weekday schedule, and you can click on that. And here's where you can change what it shows. So it shows Monday through Friday, 8 to 5. If you want different times, just simply come in here and change it 8 to 6 or whatever you'd like it to be. But down here at the bottom is the important part. So right now it shows the custom playlist is showing 100% uh, of the time. Well, we have two playlists we create. We have the custom playlist and the social media playlist. So let's go ahead and add the social media playlist. We'll give it, say, 50% rotation. And we'll drop this custom playlist down to 50% as well. So half the time it will show those custom ads we made. The other half the time it will show the social media uh, messages. So this is all set up and ready to go. If you want to see what it looks like on your screen, just come over here to Screens. And next to your screen there's a preview link. Click that and it will open up a little window in your browser and load for a second. And here you can see it's going to start showing the messages that will appear on the screen. Now this is one of the uh, pre-made messages in the social media feed that you're seeing right now. But it will rotate between those and the custom messages you have created. So your screen is set up at this point, ready to go. All you have to do is connect the player and you can see the next video for instructions on how to do that.